the path on both arms. Of course, we have we can access path on, on different arteries: carotid artery, temporal artery, uh, axillary artery, um, uh, brachial artery, inguinal, popliteal, dorsalis pedis, posterior tibial artery. But if <coughs> the artery is not specified, it means we access the pulse on the arteria uh, radialis. Must note where is this arteria radialis? Where is this artery? Always on the side from the first finger. Never palpate it here or here. You can feel pulsation here, there are different arteries also. But the arteria radialis is only here, in this fossa, here, in this sulcus. sulcus. And if you palpate this in this manner, in this manner, your three or even four fingers will be placed precisely in the proper sulcus and feel the artery. Never do it like this, or like this, or like this. This is absolutely in incorrect. Only here. And in this one, you can palpate on both arms. So here. This is a correct position for assessment of the pulse. What do you assess? In uh, Japanese traditional medicine, uh, sorry, in China, Chinese traditional medicine, there are <coughs> 40 and more different pulses dis uh, described. And even more, if you feel the pulse on one artery, you use three fingers, and there is a one position with a just light feeling, and then you press harder, so the second position, times three is a s uh, six pulses on each artery. <laughs> Six qualities of the pulse, and each quality is to, dedicated to different internal organs. But we are not so far. We were so far also in uh, European medicine, in Arabic medicine, uh, we were so far sometimes to describe a lot of pulses. And in uh, uh, ancient Latin books, you will find different, different kinds of pulses. But now we are <coughs> not so. Uh, sensible to understand all these things, we only ask you to find the four characteristics of the pulse. Four. First of one is a regularity. For this, we all have a special feeling of the rhythm inside of the soul, and you can feel the pulse. You also. We can feel the regularity of the pulse without any special device. Without any metronome, yes. On both arms, of course. On both, on both arms. Regularity. If you uh, decide if the pulse is regular or irregular, you calculate the heart rate. For ca ca uh, regular rhythm, it is possible to calculate for 30 seconds and multiply uh, two. Two, times two. Times two. For irregular, only for 60 seconds, you count the number of uh, pulse waves. Then, on both arms, you examine uh, the, the, the feeling and the strength. Feeling and strength. Or the volume, you can say volume and strength. What is volume? The volume is just how you feel the pulse. If it is uh, filled, High volume, or is not filled, not filled uh, by feeling. I mean, not feeling, mm -hmm. but feeling. Understand? Mm -hmm. And then you use the, the third finger to press, to compress the artery, until these two fingers will not feel the pulse. Uh, it seems to be you have incorrect place for the pulse. Can it be? Yeah, it's, not, it's better. Now it's better. Now it's better. So you press until the pulse stops in the distal fingers. And the, the strength, the power you need to stop the pulse is the strength of the pulse. If you 
uh, need a very high strength, the strength of the pulse is high. If you just apply a finger and the pulsation distal of this point is blocked, the strength of the pulse is weak. So, for this patient or for each patient, the rhythm for regularity, heart rate, feeling, volume, and strength. Conclusion. By assessment of the uh, pulsation of radio arteries, the pulse is regular, the pulse rate is 72, the feeling and strength are satisfactory. For feeling and strength, there are only, only two, two values, satisfactory and weak. Satisfactory and weak. In addition to this, you compare the pulse on both arteries. If the pulsation is different, for example, more strength and more volume here, and less strength and less volume on, on the left. How can we call this special pulse? This is pulsus different, a different pulse. In addition, we can combine pulsation and auscultation together. And in some patients, the number of uh, pulse uh, hot sounds in a minute is greater than the number of pulse waves. For tachyarrhythmia, for example, atrofibrillation or frequent extrasystole, this is the case. In this case, this is pulsus defi uh, deficient, in Latin, in English, uh, uh, not different, no, uh, pulse de deficiency, pulse deficiency. Deficit pulse. Понятно? Mm -hmm. And in this case, you will say, for some imaginary patient, the heart rate is about, because this is for irregular rhythm possible only, the heart rhythm is about 120, the pulse rhythm is about 112, the de de uh, deficiency of the pulse is 8 per minute. Понятно? Mm -hmm. Понятно. And one small thing in addition, the... Um, the pulse with a weak strength and weak volume we called we call pulsus filiformis filis is this thing dread yeah. dread dread um. like pulse dread like pulse filiformis it's very very weak you, you pulse this, and you must be very, very sensible to, to feel this pulsation. And if you just lightly press, the pulse disappears. Mm -hmm. This thread like pulse, or filiformis, pulsus filiformis, is uh, by collapse with a low pressure. And usually tachycardia. By severe, for example, severe heart insufficiency or uh, some, some vascular collapse, heart collapse. Clear? Clear. Uh,